I remember there was a day when I was having trouble with my voice and um, she, uh, I just remember a lot of, of her uh, <clears throat> shaking my head around and, and saying, because you, you, you don't have to lose your voice. This is your voice, this is your, she wanted me to, to deal with my inner clown, which, sorry, Weston, I, I never did because she said, you, you don't know why you make people laugh, and it's really important that you understand. And I said, isn't it better that I don't? And then I worked with Rick Miller, who's done a lot of, no, not Rick Miller, Rick Roberts. Rick Miller probably has too, actually. But Rick Roberts has really done a lot of clown work, and I, and I thought, oh my God, is that the courage it gives you when you learn to have that kind of zen on stage that you can work with? with anyway because I was afraid of it and I and I think I could have learned a lot but she did teach me to have courage in my voice and you notice how my voice has gotten deeper just talking about her and um now Kristen we should be clear yes Kristen please be was, clear she was Scottish she, Scottish she Shakespeare on the hill or on the mount on the mount her Shakespeare and company in Cape May, yeah which and was at she the mount. was a she ran the smart fierce mm -hmm. short determined oh. uh, no woman BS. who no BS. led so many people into a, a much, I don't want to say healthier, but a much more true relationship to the to voice. Shakespeare. To and to Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Yeah. She very much was Shakespeare on the breath. She was right. not, you know, you have to say these four sentences on one breath. Um, I, she did a, an act off, if I can call it that, with Douglas Campbell, in which he insisted that his way of, 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 of pronouncing the text was better. I think she won because she parsed her thoughts on her breath yeah. instead of making one long thought on yeah. one breath. Um, yeah. She was a proponent that you actually had to think what you are saying yes. as you say it. Yes, it makes me cry. As opposed to, to dress it, pronounce it, or deliver it, yeah. Yeah. deliver it intelligently, yeah. you actually had to think it while yeah. you spoke it. And yeah. if you weren't thinking it, you weren't actually present. That's right. You were, that's, that's, it. that's right. That's it in a nutshell. And, and um, the, the, the thing that I remember thinking is that um, Stratford wasn't getting their money's worth out of me because uh, it didn't come through in that um, all's well that ends. No. Uh, Oh gosh, I'm forgetting which conservatory. It didn't come through in my conservatory performance. Um, that was all as well. Um, what's the one with the twins? Um, uh, comedy of Errors. Not that comedy of Errors. Comedy of Errors. Comedy it was Errors. Comedy of Errors was the Peter Dews with Susan Wright. It oh, wasn't, oh, and right. all's well was my conservatory. And I didn't feel like I really came through with that work. And I remember six months later, in a production of Duet for One in Montreal, thinking, now the work is coming through, and I didn't do it at Stratford. And I was just talking to Raquel Duffy about this the other day, and Raquel said, she said, oh, she said, my teachers said to me that um, it can take a year or two for this work to really, so when Stratford invests like that, they're not getting their money's worth in that contract. It can take longer. But I'm ever grateful for it. It's just okay. they, it didn't come through there. It came through at Shaw, because I then went to Shaw after that. 